If you download a lot of files from the internet, you must have heard of IDM or the Internet Download Manager. My name is Yudullah, you are watching Candido Technology and in this video we are going to fix IDM's integration issues with Google Chrome. So uh, the first thing that you need to check is whether or not you are launching Chrome with administrator permissions. Uh, IDM themselves say it uh, that if you're launching uh, your browser with admin privileges, whether directly or indirectly, your extension is not going to work. So just to test it out, open up your start menu, search for Chrome and just open it without any administrative uh, permissions, just to make sure that you can get IDM up and running. Because if I head over to my extensions right now, you can see that IDM is sitting right here and I can enable it. And it tells me that I have been able to install the extension just fine. If that doesn't fix the problem and you are running Chrome without admin privileges, you can try updating IDM itself. Now, it's a relatively simple thing to do. All you have to do is fire up IDM. Uh, then you're going to click on the help option and then click on check for updates. This quickly checks to see whether there is uh, a new version of IDM available uh, because if you're using an outdated version, chances are your IDM extension will not work as expected. So just go ahead and make sure that IDM is up to date. If you have done that and the problem is still not solved, now we are going to check browser integration settings. Now you can do this by clicking on uh, downloads and then heading over to options. And in this window, uh, you will see a bunch of options under the general tab. Just make sure that uh, IDM automatically launches on startup uh, and the extend the availability of manifest to Chrome extensions. Make sure that this option is checked and make sure that ad use advanced browser integration is also checked. Then from this list make sure that you've checked google chrome as you can see make sure that it is checked if you don't see google chrome here you can click on add browser and uh, you can find the browser executable file in this window to add it uh, but yeah make sure your uh, settings look like this in the browser system integration tab and you should be good to go If that also does not fix your problem, you can try checking your Chrome extension settings. Now uh, you can open up Google Chrome. Once you're here, you can either click on this button or you can click on these three dots, go down to extensions and then click on manage extensions. In here, make sure that uh, IDM extension is enabled. And if you click on details, uh, you will see a bunch of other options as well. So uh, if you're using browser in incognito mode and want to see the extension there as well, you might want to enable the allow incognito option also and you can just pin it to your toolbar for easier access as well. Finally, uh, there is also another permission which is allow access to file URLs. Since you're downloading files, IDM is going to be needing permissions for that. So go ahead and enable that as well and you should be good to go. Last but not least, if nothing else works, your best bet is to go ahead and uh, restore or reinstall the IDM integration module. Now, uh, no IDM extension on the Google Place or on the Chrome Web Store is uh, legit. IDM has delisted their extension and you will only find the link for it in their support docs or from within IDM. I will also put uh, this link in the description below so you can go ahead and reach this page directly. But essentially what you have to do is right click on the extension and then click on remove from Chrome. Then you can just go ahead and remove that. And as you can see, this button has now changed to add to Chrome. So we can just go ahead and click on add to Chrome once again, uh, gives it the permissions that it needs. And yeah, as you can see, the extension has been properly installed uh, and you can just turn on sync. That's a different thing. But yeah, you can reinstall the IDM extension and try it to see if that helps fix the problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology. Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.